everything I've been painting, it's this huge idea of like something that's so grand that eventually sinks because it's not that grand. The use of plaster, tar, glue, water, acetone, and lacquer thinner. And in the combination, you create, you know, it's like a chemical burn, essentially. Crazy process. But the end result is really spectacular. It's the emotion that people search for in art. Now that's what I'm trying to capture, at least in my work. Like I had this idea of starting to cut up the form of the landscape and start, you know, putting it together in different forms. Um, so when you look at the image, it's, it's a realistic image of a landscape, but it's broken up. So when the viewer looks at it, they're kind of disengaged. They don't know what's going on. They have to, you know, reevaluate what they're looking at. Everything become a hybrid of each other. That's basically what this is about. It's got the neo, you know, classical Renaissance uh, base, but then on top it's gonna have this evolution into new kind of forms. And I'd like to add some kind of technology in here too, where there's like some kind of microchip. You know, when they start putting chips into people to make them uh, healthier, it cleans their blood and all that kind of stuff. It's a duty for an artist to at least observe what's going on. A lot of my work, here is based on current events or based on some kind of current event or what's going on in the world. When I first saw the sculpture, I saw it in the shape of a cross just because conceptually it's two religions fighting against each other. the worst of humankind because no one sees any good in each other anymore. People tear each other down and they start killing each other. When you're creating pieces that stem from something that's real and could hurt other people. In ideology or whatever you're creating, image-wise, uh, it's dangerous and that, that's a problem. And you know, uh, most people don't want to touch that. When you get into that system, then people want one thing. And, and it, you see that a lot in the gallery systems. You see people who just do the same shit for you know, 30, 30 years. It's not what I want to do. I want to not worry about what people like and what people don't like. That inhibits you from being really who you're going to be as an artist.